Hello guys, this is Mauro from Primfotech.com and on this video we're going to look at the steps to enable Windows Sandbox available on Windows 10 version 1903 coming sometime in 2019. If you're not familiar, Windows Sandbox is a very light virtualization environment that allows you to test untrusted applications without affecting your main installation. This feature is available only for Windows 10 Pro and Enterprise Editions on devices with support for hardware virtualization. To enable Windows Sandbox, do the following. Go to Start. and search for turn windows features on and off click that option and on windows features scroll down and check the new option available called windows sandbox click ok and now restart your computer to apply the settings once the feature is installed you can use it like any other application just go to start and look for Windows Sandbox. And that's it. Now you can use this virtualized environment to test any applications that you don't trust or you don't know the changes that it's going to make into your computer. The only issue is that at the time of this recording, the only way to install an application is to download the app from the internet, as it is not possible to drag and drop files into this environment. As you can see, you're not allowed to send any files. So, for example, I'm just going to show you how to install an application. I'm just going to install Google Chrome. And that's it. You can just double click the icon to start the application and everything should run just like when you're on the desktop of Windows 10. Once you finish using the app, closing Windows Sandbox deletes everything and the next time you start the feature, it will start with a new installation. Just remember that this is a test environment. You cannot install and permanently use an application on this environment. And that's all there is to it. When I close it, and I'm going to confirm, click OK. And everything now has been deleted from this computer. If you want to learn more about this feature, I will be leaving a link in the video description below with a written guide with even more information. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you and I would like to thank you for viewing.